We don't expect her to play for long, but really a doctor told her she would never play basketball again, and here she is out on the court. A nice gesture by head coach Sue Semrau trying to get things going. Defensively, they have slid while they have struggled offensively all season, and that's a great way to start. But they were able to do that, and now able to celebrate senior night. Sue Semrau talked about her just being the ultimate teammate, continuing to stay involved, and her teammates... She stretched her range from 12 to 15 feet, was playing very confident basketball, and has been all but absent the last two games offensively, so important for her to get going early. So this is just a really good read, running the floor in transition. Nobody covering the middle of the paint. Gosh, uh, Florida State struggling to score. They didn't even score 50 points in their loss to North Carolina on Sunday, and they finally get their first points. And there she is, getting the rebound. And right there, she had three offensive rebounds the first time these two teams met. Extra possessions for her team. Come back, we will hear from the multifaceted polyglot. For the Mimosa. Nice post move. Now Lottman finds some space, puts it up. Whistle blown as the shot goes in. Good job of using the screen right here. And Jones going to her left hand and then finishing. And this is some of the stuff you see such flashes of brilliance from Morgan Jones. And we're struggling with one. Pam Ward and Stephanie White joining you. Uh, Georgia Tech and Florida State. Morgan Jones gets her second bucket of the evening. Aviance Carter, who is AC to her teammates, checks in for Georgia Tech. Doesn't get a lot of playing time. And then the shot nailed. Yeah, great rotation by Weber to get down there and get that steal. Jetty gets it over for the wide open look. Hello, Mariana Valenzuela. Georgia Tech has to find a way to score. It's been a long time, and they finally do. Sarah Bates. Great hustle by Florida State to keep that possession alive. And Morgan Jones uses her left hand again to get the bucket and gets fouled. You know, taking all those things to the next level and continuing to get better. Morgan Jones can continue to be a heck of a basketball player. Gordon gets it over to Howard. Off balance shot, a little bit short. Timpson, terrific work by the freshman to keep it alive and score. And, you know, keep in mind for Georgia Tech, no Norea Hermosa. She's out with those two fouls. And uh, Pam, I'm telling you, this horn set, that horn set that they just ran. See how Morgan Jones is loading up as the shot clock's winding down? you got to find Sarah Bates right there. That is the one person that you do a lot more high-low action, a lot more post touches, a lot more aggressive offensively from Georgia Tech. Good start to the second half. But now back in double figures tonight, and you mentioned UConn. Wow, that was the Halcyon days there in December. They won at Georgia and then beat UConn in back-to-back -back contests. Oh, Morgan Jones. Somebody's going to have to step up and be able to contain Morgan Jones. He's got 13 to lead all scorers. Hermosa just... Yeah. Goes right at Pajetti. Stromina. An extra opportunity, and there's some fluidity. Tech only scored nine points in the third. They already, uh, nine points in the second quarter, excuse me. They already have eight points in this third quarter. Oh, and there's the lead. They are projected as a six seed by Charlie Cream. It would drop to a seven with a loss, and says so Florida State has to win or else they will drop out of Charlie's next four out and need to have a magical run in the ACC tournament. Pulls up instead of going after Jones. Then reposts. You see the difference with Dignan and Stratman out on the floor defensively as A.C. Carter gets another two. No, Fortner was the ACC Coach of the Year last year. Got him all the way to the Sweet 16. And there, off the inbounds play. Being disruptive. You're correct, I was wrong. So here we go. <laughs> We 
Takes a stream from Kubai. The floater goes in. Georgia Tech needed somebody to put some points on the board, and she took ownership of that in key moments, and she's doing that again here tonight. Five for five from the free throw line, drawing contact. And Bajetti picks it, three on two. Bajetti, perfect pass to Morgan Jones. Stephanie White and nip and tuck game right here, just a one point ball game. Strachman are coming alive in the second half. He's not for much of it. AC Carter getting most of the minutes at her position. Lotman's going to have to chuck it up. And she piped it in with the big spin roll. Jones able to rescue the high pass and knock it down. That is something that Georgia Tech has been very good at. You know, all, all season long. Tonight, Florida State's just more active going to the glass. Hermosa off the floor, big offensive threat, but the second half continues. Hermosa and Kubai have not been able to be on the floor together most of the night. Stratman is heating up. All 12 of those points coming in the second half. Jackson misses, but clean it up, Aaron Howard. Trying to get above 500 in the ACC. Both teams going on the road for their season finales next Sunday. Jones, it, it's good, finishes with either hand really nicely around the rim. Who has tried to defend her, and you're right, just really good, strong, solid finishes inside. Ties the game back up inside, and it's really love. Jones. Regained control, got her over to Baldwin, who was able to finish. Strotman has had the hot hand. Love picked up her dribble. Nice pass, though, to Hermosa, who was able to catch it and score. And Florida State with another chance to tie it up. That'd be smart, I'd win. And that's the fifth on Hermosa. Yep. Kid has talent. Hit both of her free throws. Rotman, who is another fin, says, take this. Pajetti playing most of the minutes at point tonight. Bianca Jackson, too strong. Jones gets the rebound, and then Kubai. Kubai posting up on Baldwin. They fade away. Can't go. Rebound chased down by Rotman. She's 11 of 13 on the season. They have three timeouts. Reeses gets them both. Lotman going to inbound it. Love with the spin, and she hits it. Jones, high dribble. Jackson for the win, and yes, another. There is time to catch and shoot. There is. Lob into Kubai. It's grabbed by Jones. And now officially, we're going to overtime. Went over Clemson in the very next game. They lost to Notre Dame at home. Baldwin short. Lautman getting up to Stratmana, who beats everybody. Bajetti. Jetty knocks down a big three. She's been so solid for Florida State here tonight. Nice back cut. That's, that's that next level of development for her. And she is developing that offensive game. Jones, big one, again. If you're Georgia Tech, you've got a pretty solid defense and finish the play. Inside a minute, Jackson. Good look and good finish. Strotmana with the post up. Love a little bit too strong. Scramble for the basketball. Baldwin grabs. Another opportunity. Certainly needed look to get a quick score. Strotmana buries it. 
Right now, good defense without fouling, and then you want to call a timeout on a rebound if you're Georgia Tech. Shot clock winding down, but Jetty with the air ball, and now Kubai tied up with Baldwin. Gets it over to Love, takes it right to Jones, and it's knocked out of bounds. That look says it all for Nell Fortner and her staff. They get it into Jones, who threw it out. Georgia Tech does not have a timeout. This time Kubai with the inbound. Strotman has had the hot hand in the second half. Puts up the three. It's off the mark. And Florida State survives.